What's up everybody, it's me Justin Giron and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, for this video, I am really happy that I created this metallic summer look. Honestly, I didn't think I would step out of my zone and do extreme blinding metallics, highlighters, shiny eyeshadows. I mean, I did it all for this video and for this season because obviously it's summer and we want to shine bright during the whole summer theatrical but since i live in arizona it's already summer like two months ago and it is now 106 degrees so let's see how this all can live up to it and also guys in this video i use a lot of new products that i haven't even used before and i'm really happy that i tried them out because i honestly really like them so guys also in this video i am going to be saying morphe so many times so if you guys want to do a shot game Good luck with that. <laughs> so if you guys want to see how I created this whole summer metallic look, then you guys better keep on watching. Alright guys, so as you can see, my face is completely bare. So I'm going to be showing you guys every step by step on how to get this metallic look. So for the first step is primer and for primer today I'm actually going to be using two different types of primer. The first one is going to be the Pure Cosmetics um, No Filter Blurring Photography Primer because this primer actually has this really glowy finish to it and honestly I want to be glowing so I'm going to be using this. Alright so I'm going to be taking a few drops so here, here, here. Then for the second primer, I'm going to be taking the Professional Primer by Benefit. So that way it can mattify my face and blur the pores that I have. So let's see how these two work together. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix it all in with the Morphe E6 brush. And this brush is actually really good for blending in foundations and primers. So I would highly recommend you guys to purchase this brush. It just honestly makes everything looks so photo finished. And I just took off my stethoscope ring because I just realized that the color that my piercing has is not gonna match the color that I'm gonna do for this whole look. Never forget to blend the neck. All right guys, and for foundation today, I'm gonna be taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Now, I heard a lot of great things about this foundation, but the thing though is that there's no testers at the drugstore, so it was really tricky to find my correct shade but I just compared the shade color to my Maybelline one. They look like a good match, so let's pray to God that this is a good match. Yeah, I can kind of see it. Not really too crazy about the spatula, only because like you have to dip back into your foundation and you're just dipping in your germs and stuff, but uh, you know, companies will learn. All right, so this is probably how much foundation I'm gonna be using for my whole face. And go ahead and take your damp beauty blender and start buffing the foundation. So this foundation is light medium coverage. It's all right, kind of used to the whole heavy mat, but I'm pretty sure you can build this up. I think I'm pretty much done blending. All right, next step is concealer. Now, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this concealer, but I really enjoy using the KKW Beauty Concealer. It's just so creamy, lightweight, blendable, and it's allegedly anti-aging. So I think that's why I'm really addicted to it. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal my whole entire existence. All right, and then taking the same Beauty Blender. Just gonna go ahead and blend this out. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly set my under eyes with the KKW Beauty Translucent Powder, just so that way my eyes will not crease. Obviously the same thing with my Laura Mercier. I'm gonna be doing it with the KKW Beauty Powder. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so now that the brows are on, let's go ahead and get to contouring. All right guys, so last week I went into the Morphe store and I snagged this new Morphe 8L palette, which is their new contouring and highlighting palette, which I was really excited, whoops, which I was really excited to see because look at this, all these new shades and highlighters with it, I mean, that's a steal. And of course I had to snag the M530 brush because the lady at the store told me 
that this is best recommended for this palette. So I was like, all right, just give it to me all. I don't care. So with the Morphe 8L palette, I'm trying to see which contouring shade is best for me. I'm thinking between Donut and Literati. I think I pronounced that right. I think I'm gonna go with shade Donut and I'm gonna be taking the Morphe and 530 brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze the cheekbones. Just coming, just getting there. All right, bronzer, don't be shy. It's all right, you can let all your pigments come out. We'll blend. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and bronze the nose and I'm gonna be taking the Morphe M6 brush from the Britney Bear collaboration. And let's go ahead and bronze the nose. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. All right, and let's go ahead and bake the face. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dust away the powders. All right, so now that my basic face is done, let's go ahead and start getting into the eyes. So some of you guys may know or might not know, but I am obsessed with the Urban Decay Potion Eye Primer. And this is shade Sin, and I just love this primer because it is not only strong and lightweight, but it's also metallic. And you guys know, this is what this whole entire tutorial is all about. So some of you guys can blend this with your fingers, but I just like to use a basic flat brush and just blend it out myself. So guys, for the eyeshadow today, I'm gonna be taking the infamous KKW Beauty and Mario eyeshadow palette. I finally, finally have time to use this palette. I've been wanting to use this for such a long time, but I can never figure out when and where to use this, but since this is a shimmery, metallic, and natural look. These are gonna come right in handy. All right guys, so for the crease, I'm gonna be taking the shade Albanian and I'm gonna be taking it on the Morphe N433 brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pack it on the brush. Tap the excess and I'm gonna go ahead and place it all in the crease. Now it's gonna look a little messy, which is okay because I have a brush that's gonna blend out the colors. And I'm gonna be taking Albanian and I'm also gonna place it on the corner of my eye because I actually have a color for the center and it's gonna be pretty blindy. All right, so now I'm gonna be taking the Morphe M576 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and brush the corner of that Albanian color just so that way it can have that nice blended effect. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I'm gonna be adding a color right over here as well, but I'm not gonna be using this brush. So on the Morphe M518 brush, I'm gonna be taking the shade Miami, and I'm gonna go ahead and carefully place it with the Albanian color. Now you guys can do this trick if you want, but what I normally do is I will add on concealer to the lid because I want this spot to be completely blank and for the color to be really, really popping. All right guys, so for the center of the color, I'm gonna be taking that gold color and I'm gonna be spraying this KKW concealer brush because um, let's be real, you guys. This brush looks just like the brush that you can find on the Anastasia palette. So I'm gonna be taking this flat area right here and I'm gonna be taking this gold shade called Glam because I want this shade to be very golden. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that all on the center. This gold, you guys, this gold is too much. And I love it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and jerk around the colors, the Albanian and Glam, just because I want those two colors to look like they're blended together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take that Albanian color with the same brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and lightly swipe the color, swipe, sweep, something. Just gonna brush it all under the eyes. Then I'm gonna take Miami and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it underneath as well. Then I'm gonna be taking this silver shimmery shade called 2008 and I'm gonna place it all on the corner of my eyes. Now that the eyes are done, I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes because the next step is mascara. So for mascara today, I'm gonna to be taking the Benefit Cosmetics, the Bad Gal Bang Mascara, and I'm gonna go ahead and carefully apply to my lashes. Wow. All right, Benefit, I see you. All right guys, so for the lashes, I already went ahead and added the glue to my Tarte lashes. This is Goddess, and you guys know how much I love the Tarte Cosmetics lashes. 
So when this dries up, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the eyes. All right, so what I do with my lashes is that, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I always take the end and I wanna put it as close to the end as possible. So like right here and then I'll carefully place it on the other end of the front. But I don't want the lashes to go directly right here because that's what's going to cause your eyes to irritate and for your lashes to fly out and be all over the place. So you want to place it all the way at the corner of your eye at the back as close as you can but not too far to where it's like not on your eyelashes. And then just carefully tap everything in place. You guys can go ahead and add some false lashes to your bottom. I know a lot of people do that but I just like to find a very good mascara to make your bottom lashes look very very long and this bad gal bang mascara really does its trick all right guys so this is how it came out and i am really obsessed with how it all just came out like honestly i love it now that i finished this left eye now i gotta do the right eye so i will see you guys in a little bit all right guys so now that the eyes are finally done let's go ahead and get right into highlighting so i had to find the perfect highlighter for this look and I'm gonna go back with the Morphe 8L and I think Supernova is gonna have to do the trick. So I'm gonna be using the Morphe E61 brush and we're gonna go ahead and apply the highlighter. Ooh, okay, so I thought it was gonna look gold but it has like a lavender iridescence. Then again, Supernova, it should have. I should have put the two and two together. All right, so let's go ahead and add on Cosmic on top of Supernova to see if it'll make it any better. But besides the color, I really love the formula that the highlighter has. It's really creamy, really blendable, and it's amazing. I love it. All right, and the last thing to add on is the lips. So I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Liquid Cat Soup, and this is shade Ride On My Copper. Hmm an interesting name I guess and let's go ahead and apply this wow I love this color all right guys so the last thing to do is add on some setting spray and I'm gonna be using the Laura Geller spackle mist and you guys know I infuse the setting spray with some artist couture highlighter because hey I told you I wanted this to be a metallic highlighter summer look so let's go ahead and add on some highlighter Alright guys, so this concludes the summer metallic makeup tutorial and now that I'm looking at it, I am really loving how this all came out. Like, the eyes are well blended, like the best that I've ever blended before. And it honestly brings out a lot of shimmers to it. I love the Morphe highlighters. I didn't know that Supernova had like a lavender color to it, but hey, I can still work with it. Lashes are on point, metallic lip is honestly the best color and the perfect nude. Not only that, but also if you want a nude with some metallic finish to it, I think I would recommend this Wet n Wild one. Speaking of Wet n Wild, the foundation, I mean, it has its ups and downs. It's not as full coverage as I would love it to be, but it did do its trick. It is actually blendable, so you can actually build it up if you wanted to. But other than that, this all came into success. So guys, if you love this video and if you guys love this look, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to press that giant red button on the bottom of the screen that says subscribe and you will be subscribed to my videos. And if you guys want, I mean, you can click on that bell. But other than that, guys, I hope you love this video and I hope you guys do love me and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Bye guys.